our website is amax at realestate.com. I'm telling you, she is with Soul Realty Services. Her direct number is 303-393-1411. Then we have her lender that she's paired with them and partnered with, and that is Calvin Mallard. And we're looking at this lender because he has so much information. His information and website, go to the website first, Loans by Calvin, C-A-L-B-I-N.com. His direct number is 720-403-8832. His mobile is 720-364-9726. And the reason why I came back on air and just gave you this information is because if we want to live according to the Word of God and just be... Who on fire for Jesus, making sure that we're sowing the way he said to sow, to leave our inheritance for our children, children, and to renew, revitalize, renew our lives, renew our minds. That's what we're talking about on break. We even went as far as talking about a scenario with this young, with a young man here about, is he too old to buy? You know, his children are grown. Is it too late for me? And, and uh, Annette's answer was, what? <laughs> No, it's never too late. Never too I love late. that. Never I love that. Late. She said it's never too late because you still have time to sow in your own garden. I love that. You know, you right now you're still giving out. You're yes. giving out. Yes, you're giving you're out. paying somebody and mortgage. That's you're right. Paying rent. Yes. And you have no return on what you're giving out. We always want to have some type of return on what we're sowing. Right? Correct. We want to be good stewards according to the word of God. That's been a good steward. You know? So I'm excited about that. Um, I want to talk to Mr. Mallard, Calvin Mallard. What I was speaking with him about before we went to break, explain a little bit to us about debt to income ratio. Because people may be looking, oh, what are you telling me I need? You know what I mean? Sure. I have a very general rule of thumb that I use for debt to income when I talk with people. And it's basically set up to where I'll tell them, you know, we're going to look at for FHA, they're going to take 55% of the income that you earn, and that's what they're going to allow to be for your usable debt. And it's basically items that show up on your credit report. Okay. So I use a very simple formula that I use for people, and I say, hey, if you make $10,000 a month, they don't want to see your debt exceed 55% hundred dollars a month and those are items that show up on your credit report like credit cards your car payment student loans installment loans not your water bill or your electric bill or your insurance bill or Got your it. daycare bill okay mm -hmm. just that. items that show up on your credit report mm -hmm. so that's how we calculate your debt to income ratio I like that you know, I, I like the explanation because it lets us understand a lot of people were sitting there thinking, okay, my debt to ratio, I'm paying uh, uh, for child support or uh, and, and it's not showing up. You know, I'm paying for uh, um, uh, uh, my car insurance and I got life insurance. And Actually, child support is one of the things that they do take do. into consideration. Okay, debt to ratio, okay. But um, that's good to know, you know. Uh, but other things that they're doing is not a part of that, like car insurance. Correct. Life insurance. Correct. Uh, things like that. So uh, it's good to know that your debt to ratio are the big items again. And that's not including your mortgage, right? Right. That's before you get the mortgage. Yeah, am I because correct? They're, they're actually going to, they have two parts to that expense for FHA. They actually have a housing part to that expense. Mm -hmm. So they call it your front end ratio, your front end debt to income ratio. So they'll take that percentage into consideration. And that is how much of your income is being taken up by your housing expense. And then they have what they call your back end ratio for FHA, which is your housing expense, and all your other items that show up on your credit report. So they do take both of those items into consideration. What percentage is being spent for your housing expense and what your total overall debt-to-income ratio is. Okay, I like that. Yes, good information. I told you, you know, we promise you rich and robust conversation here on Coffee Talk. And we're here just so excited because when we're talking about just renting, 
I'm telling you, Colorado is not a place you just want to rent in. You want to invest. You really do. Unless you plan on never, ever, ever. And you in a place you've been in for 20 years and you got that same rent and they're never going to kick you out and raise it. Now, that's it. Now, I don't no, know if that's going to happen. That's all right. No, that's not happening. <laughs> because when people look and see the possibilities of making more, getting more, greed, sometimes, I ain't going to say everybody greedy, but sometimes just business, you know, just handling your business. If I can make more on the same unit, why would I allow you? Now, you've been faithful for 20 years, but now you're going to have to pay maybe close to what everybody else is paying? Well, I'm saying, I'm saying uh, here in Colorado, I don't know, Calvin, but I'm saying here in Colorado with some of the landlords, because there's no law into how much they can charge. I'm seeing them no charging control. five and six and seven hundred dollars more than rent. Yes, yeah, so if you get comfortable it just so happened you in this seven hundred or eight hundred dollar, even a thousand dollar, and he come in and said, "Okay, uh, market value, I can get nineteen hundred for." It. What are you gonna do? Yeah. So you you got to move, but by law they can't uh, tell him how much he can charge for his plates because he know he can get it. So with that being said, a lot of people are actually being kicked out. Uh, or either having to, like I said, have your mother, your sister, sister or somebody, somebody come and stay with you. And that shouldn't be. If that's your own property that you own, then you know what your mortgage is going to be. You 